Hibiscus is a genus of flowering plants in the mellow family, Melbaceae. It is quite large, containing several hundred species that are native to warm temperate, subtropical and tropical regions throughout the world. Member species are often noted for their showy flowers and are commonly known simply as hibiscus, or less widely known as rose mellow. The genus includes both annual and perennial herbaceous plants, as well as woody shrubs and small trees. The generic name is derived from the Greek word a one quarter plus or minus i squared i i florin i i i, which was the name Pedonius diasorides gave to Althea officinalis. Description The leaves are alternate, ovate to lentiolate, often with a toothed or lobed margin. The flowers are large, conspicuous, trumpet shaped, with five or more petals, color from white to pink, red, orange, purple or yellow and from 4 a euro 18 a cm broad. Flower color in certain species, such as H. mutabilis and H. tiliaceus, changes with age. The fruit is a dry five-lobed capsule, containing several seeds in each lobe, which are released when the capsule doses at maturity. It is of red and white colors. It is an example of complete flowers. Uses Landscaping Many species are grown for their showy flowers or used as landscape shrubs, and are used to attract butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds. Paper One species of hibiscus, known as kenneth, is extensively used in paper making. Beverage The tea made of hibiscus flowers is known by many names in many countries around the world and is served both hot and cold. The beverage is well known for its color, tanginess and flavor. It is known as Bishop in West Africa, Calcada copyright in Egypt and Sudan, Agua de Jamaica in Mexico and Honduras and Guddal in India. Some refer to it as Rosal, a common name for the hibiscus flower. In Jamaica, Trinidad and many other islands in the Caribbean, the drink is known as Sorrel. In Ghana, the drink is known as Subalo in the local dialect. Rosel is typically boiled in an enamel-coated large stock pot as most West Indians believe the metal from aluminum, steel or copper pots will destroy the natural minerals and vitamins. In Cambodia, a cold beverage can be prepared by first steeping the petals in hot water until the colors are leached from the petals, then adding lime juice, sweeteners and finally cold water ice cubes. In Egypt and the Middle East, hibiscus tea is known by the name Karkadi, and is served as both a hot and a cold drink. Food, dried hibiscus is edible, and is often a delicacy in Mexico. It can also be candied and used as a garnish. The rosel is used as a vegetable. Certain species of hibiscus are also beginning to be used more widely as a natural source of food coloring, and replacement of red number 3 slash E127. Hibiscus species are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidopteran species including Cyanodes hybrizella, Hypercomp hambletoni, the nutmeg moth, and the turnip moth. Symbolism and culture, hibiscus species represent nations, hibiscus syriacus is the national flower of South Korea, and hibiscus rosa sinensis is the national flower of Malaysia. The hibiscus is the national flower of the Republic of Haiti. The red hibiscus is the flower of the Hindu goddess Kali, and appears frequently in depictions of her in the art of Bengal, India, often with the goddess and the flower merging in form. The hibiscus is used as an offering to goddess Kali and Lord Ganesha in Hindu worship. Hibiscus rosa sinensis is considered to have a number of medical uses in Chinese herbology. In the Philippines, the gumamila is used by children as part of a bubble-making pastime. The flowers and leaves are crushed until the sticky juices come out. Hollow papaya stalks are then dipped into this and used as straws for blowing bubbles. The hibiscus flower is traditionally worn by Tahitian and Hawaiian girls. If the flower is worn behind the left ear, the woman is married or in a relationship. If the flower is worn on the right, she is single or openly available for a relationship. The hibiscus is Hawaii's state flower. Nigerian author Chimamanda Ngozi named her first novel Purple Hibiscus after the delicate flower. The bark of the hibiscus contains strong bast fibers that can be obtained by letting the stripped bark set in the sea to let the organic material rot away. Health Benefits The tea is popular as a natural diuretic. It contains vitamin C and minerals, 
and is used traditionally as a mild medicine. Dietaries or people with kidney problems often take it without adding sugar for its beneficial properties and as a natural diuretic. A 2008 USDA study shows consuming hibiscus tea lowers blood pressure in a group of pre-hypertensive and mildly hypertensive adults. Three cups of tea daily resulted in an average drop of 8.1 mHg in their systolic blood pressure, compared to a 1.3 mHg drop in the volunteers who drank the placebo beverage. Study participants with higher blood pressure readings had a greater response to hibiscus tea, their systolic blood pressure went down by 13.2 mHg. These data support the idea that drinking hibiscus tea in an amount readily incorporated into the diet may play a role in controlling blood pressure, although more research is required. Hibiscus rosa sinensis has a number of medical uses in Chinese herbology. Loca pure sgal. Their research indicates some potential in cosmetic skin care. For example, an extract from the flowers of Hibiscus rosa sinensis has been shown to function as an anti-solar agent by absorbing ultraviolet radiation. In the Indian traditional system of medicine, Ayurveda, hibiscus, especially white hibiscus and red hibiscus, is considered to have medicinal properties. The roots are used to make various concoctions believed to cure ailments such as cough, hair loss or hair graying. As a hair treatment, the flowers are boiled in oil along with other spices to make a medicated hair oil. The leaves and flowers are ground into a fine paste with a little water, and the resulting lathery paste is used as a shampoo plus conditioner. Hibiscus tea also contains bioflavonoids, which are believed to help prevent an increase in LDL cholesterol, which can increase the buildup of plaque in the arteries. Species in temperate zones, probably the most commonly grown ornamental species is Hibiscus syriacus, the common garden hibiscus, also known in some areas as the Rose of Althea, or Rose of Sharon. In tropical and subtropical areas, the Chinese hibiscus, with its many showy hybrids, is the most popular hibiscus. Several hundred species are known, including, formally placed here, photos. References External links American Hibiscus Society, Australian Hibiscus Society, International Hibiscus Society, Foundation for Revitalization of Local Health Traditions.